know it's not your department, but it still has to be nice to see Rasmus Donnelly rewarded for the work he's put in to, to get that type of concert. Yeah, rewarded for the work he's put in, uh, the person he is, the competitor that he is, and uh, it's pretty exciting you're investing in a guy that young. Uh, lots of times you're kind of, uh, you know, you're, you're, the age he's at is, is great for us. Uh, he's going to be young all the way through that contract, and it's, uh, it's all exciting, and knowing him, being around him every day, I'm very happy for him, too. You know, you've spoken so much about him in some of his tough times, and you had so much confidence going behind him. How did you see that develop where he was then to where he got to last year? Boy, um, you know, he was a person, player that you could see um, as a coach, you back these type of people. Uh, extremely talented, uh, too hard on himself, um, you know, living and dying, but dying more in the moment because he just, he, he, he just cares. You can care too much, and what I mean by too much, it, it puts extra pressure on you and that's that's Rasmus that's a lot of competitive guys and he's a very competitive guy so you know for for me um, just thought you know the more support we could provide him uh, the more skill and talent we would see uh, rise and rise and um, you know he's he certainly hasn't let us down that's for sure so for for me just having the opportunity to work with a guy uh, of that caliber. Uh, I've been lucky to work with lots of really talented guys that are spread out through the league uh, that are on contracts that, that are pretty darn good contracts and um, you know when you see a guy with the talent he has and the passion he has and you can be part of helping that it's, it's fun. When you first took over the team it seemed like you saw right away you know, there were things you could help him with as a coach you know with, with its strategies or whatever within the system you want to put on that will help better his game. You could almost see that right away. What, what was easy for me to see, Paul, was when I did take over the team, was that if we're going to be successful, uh, we, we have to get Rasmus going. He he's, um, was one of our, if not the most talented guy when, when that transition happened. And, um, you know, I was looking at any, any way possible to – all possibilities of making us a better hockey team, and it was pretty clear to me, um, you know, with some hindsight of working with lots of young guys, that this is a guy that uh, is going to be has has immense potential and the attributes of compete, hockey sense, love of the game, and teammates that that will that will give us rapid return upon some some support and you know maybe direction. A uh, little bit of, of guidance, but not not a lot. I mean, he, he did it, so uh, I don't want to sit here and sound like I did something great for him. It, he's the talent, and it was it was obvious that uh, um, you know some situations he was he was in his own head, and we just needed to free it up. And uh, uh, once we did, I thought uh, he showed how much he could help us immediately, and I think everyone here saw that too. Tom, as the head coach of this team, what is your reaction that to have a GM who talks about patience but actually follows through with it and to allow a day like this to happen, but not only allow to be in a position to be able to pay a player like Rasmus when it's time, but to also still be in a good spot long term to where you're not in a bad spot with salary cap and there's a lot of flexibility with what this, you can, with the building around this group that you have? Yeah, it. it... Kevin has done an amazing job, Kevin Adams. Um, and prior, before that, it would be Terry and Kim Pagula. And, he, you know, Kevin can't do what he does without that type of support um, and, and guidance as well. And I can't do what I do without the support of Kevin and, 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 uh, and ownership as well. So we're in a really... Uh, good situation. I've worked for six different NHL teams, I think it is now, in different capacities, and I can tell you that uh, that might be very simply said, but that is uh, you cannot uh, do what we've done in the last couple of years, uh, and, and a big part of it is being patient. Um, you can be patient, but you also have to be persistent, and Kevin, I think, has been very persistent in the type of people we want here. 
there's lots of talented hockey players around the world, but we want to get the right people. And Kevin, I think, and his and our entire staff have been very persistent. Though, although we've been patient, you got to be persistent, and and we have. And um, you know, I think this is one. Uh, you know, to have this player in, in Rasmus clearly state, I want to be here uh, long term. I mean, the market's the market. He, he, he's he's in the market, so the, you can do that anywhere. But he says, I want to be right here, and um, that's that's pretty nice. As far as the roster goes, do Zach has a spot? Just I mean, when you look at the whole package of training, you know, why did he earn a spot? I know it's kind of well, it's 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 pretty simple now, and, and I've said it. So, and I don't mean to cut you off, Bill. By any means, sorry. Uh, we 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 are very focused on winning, and we feel that you know he's what he's shown us. Let's see. I think we think at this point, he's he's been very impactful. Uh, he obviously keeps up, and no problem keeping up with what's going on. Uh, and he's made lines. He's added two lines. Um, so whatever line we put him on, that line's been good. And you know he's been contributing. So um, you know, unlike you know a year ago, or we knew in two years ago, we knew we, we had to develop. I mean, yeah, we, you want to win. Of course, you want to win. But you know, the, realistically, we need to get better. And our dominant focus was on getting better. You, you know, now as our focus shifts to okay, we've gotten to the point where now we have to dial in on winning. And and you know, back to what I said about now is now we have to be even more patient and persistent. Uh, when we move into this phase, because it's a whole different world for our guys and our team. Uh, but I do think Zach, at this point, he's shown that he's. We can keep taking looks at him. He's in our organization, and he's done well, and we'll continue to take looks at him. But but he's helping us. Uh, you know, he's helping us with bottom line right now, and that's the key. Don, does the evaluation process then change now that it's going to be the regular season? The games are going to be tougher. Well, definitely the game itself changes. Uh, it's it's totally different than preseason, and that with a player, you know, like Zach, you're you're curious. Uh, he's done so well in camp. Um, you know, he's also as young as he is. Um, we do feel, you know, as we bring players in the organization, now we're surrounding him with more stability. We didn't have any stability two years ago, and we really worked a lot of kinks out to, to become more stable through last year. But you know, we were, we were unstable at times last season. So, you know, with greater stability, you can take on a little bit more here and there. Um, so, you know, what that means in this situation for Zach is something we'll monitor. Um, but, you know, he has done extremely well to, to this point. And we feel, you know, the, I feel that our, our players, our returning players, have supported that extremely well. He's probably got better support this year than J.J. and Jack Quinn had last year, for example. It just does. Everybody's a, a year more experienced, a year better, a year more confident. Uh, so that that's an offset. So I, I don't want to uh, mis, you know, misrepresent the whole picture. The whole picture is that. We're in a situation that um, Zach has played extremely well. We have also have a team that seems to be supporting him well right now, and we'll just keep monitoring and see how that goes. Did he take you by surprise at all coming into camp, like, you know, as yeah. an 18-year-old kid to do what he did? He did. Um, very big surprise. Very big, pleasant surprise. Um, obviously, when you're picked in the first round, you sit in scouting meetings, you listen to him. I could flip on a little video and watch of him. You see how good he is, uh, but it's against a lot of players that are going to play in the NHL. So... You're, you're trying to figure in your mind, okay, how, how is he going to pull that off when he gets around, you know, uh, elite NHL talent? And he's still doing a lot of the things he did in junior, at least through the preseason, uh, and even in practice, which is a good barometer too against against top defensemen. Uh, you know, sometimes we match that line against some some uh, situations in, in practice to, to watch for that stuff. Uh, but yes, it's been a very pleasant surprise. Uh, you keep an open mind, uh, but he has uh, exceeded um, um, any thought you could have had coming in. You don't you don't want to get too much of a thought on a guy before he comes in. You want to let him play. So he's been very impressive.